Be excited. You're 21! 21! <laughs> you look like a unicorn now. Do it again. Oh my god! Happy birthday to you. Hello. Welcome back to another vlog. Today's vlog is very special because it is Father's Day, but that's not the reason why it's special. The reason why it's special is because it is Carter's third birthday. So I've currently got him loads of treats and just packing up in a bag. Got him some new toys. Got him a little lion. And then I've also done him a card. And then we have some birthday hats as well. This one is mine and this one is his. So yeah, I cannot believe he is three. Three in dog years is, I think it's 21. Because I think it's 7, 14, 21. So it actually is a really special day for him because it's his 21st. So yeah, I'm going to give him his presents, take him out. And then when I come back, I'm going to do kind of like a backstory of when I got him. Show you some footage of the day I went to pick him up. So show you some pictures kind of along our journey together. I'll talk about having a dog, the change in my life from having a dog. And then later on uh, this afternoon, we're actually heading to Leicester to my parents' house because as I said, it is Father's Day. So we're gonna go and spend it with my dad. And then I'm actually leaving Carter with my parents for a couple of weeks because then I'm jetting off next week on holiday. So let's head downstairs and surprise him with his presents. I always think to myself, do you think a dog even has a clue what's going on? Do you think the dog knows it's his birthday? Or is he just like, oh, thanks for all these gifts. Have I done something good? Anyway, let's get downstairs and surprise him. Right guys, I've laid his stuff out on the sofa, so I'm gonna bring him in here. Let's go in and sing happy birthday and get him. Happy birthday to you. Come around this way, the light's bad. Happy birthday to you, Kata. Happy birthday, dear Kata. Happy birthday to you. Three cheers for Kata. Hip hip, hooray. Hip hip, hooray. Hip hip, hooray. Kata, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, you're 21. What's that? Kata, what's that? What's that? Oh, it says daddy on it. Can we give me a cuddle? It's your birthday. Can we give me a cuddle? Happy birthday. You have been amazing. It's going to be a special day. You're going to have some cocktails or some dog tails today. Right, let's place this camera up on this chair so I can read my card from Carter. Oh, that's lots of chair. Where are we going? Let's go there, cards. Come on, let me see your card. I'll read mine and then you can come in and get your presents. Do you want some presents? Do you? I got me some presents, some treats. Right, let's open this. Sit down. Sit your bum. Sit your bum then. Mwah. Sit your bum then. Do you want to go see Nanny later? And you can get some treats. You can get some treats because it's your birthday. Did you write this yourself? Right, let's open it up. Why does everyone always talk to their dogs like a baby? I mean, he's 21 now and I'm still talking to him like he's a toddler. Right, let's see what it is. Did you get this yourself? <gasps> Says, at least the cat loves me, Tossa. Naughty card. That's naughty. To a great dad. Daddy, woof woof, have a wonderful day. You are the best dog dad in the world. Thanks for making me a star. Love, Carter. Ciao, ciao. Thank you. That's nice. Do you want to come and see your presents? Do you want to come and see your toys and your treats? Do you want to come and see your toys and your treats? Come on then. Let's go and see your toys and treats. Come on. Kata, come and get your treats then. Come, up here. Come up. Up then. Up. 
Yes! Oh, this is for you. Come in. Come in. Come into the camera. Look, we've got your donut. We got you. Oh, look at this. Do you like that? Little lion. Then, let's put your birthday hat on. This is your party hat. Wait, oh, there you go. Then I put mine on. Mine says, happy birthday. Yes, you look cute. Then we've got, what else have we got? Can you see the happy birthday? Got some treats, more treats. You love these treats, don't you? Then we've got more treats and more treats. <gasps> it's your special day. And more treats. Should we get some out for you? Which ones do you want? Should we get some of these out for you? And then we'll read your card. Give me a kiss then. Mwah. Good boy. You're going to get spoiled today. Kiss. Mwah. Gives a smile. Mwah. Good boy. Right, let's read your card. Wait there. Right. So it says, card to chow chow. Let's open it up for you. Yeah, this is for you. You got me on this one, didn't you? Right. So it says, it's okay to get a little weird on your birthday with a goat. Do you like the goat? Do you want the goat? Eh? And then, it says to Carter Chow Chow, happy birthday, you old smelly dog. It's not like anyone will be able to tell the difference between you and the goat. Have the best day. I love you more than anything. Love, Daddy. Did you like that? Kiss. Good boy. Oh, so today we're going to go, we're going to go on a walkies. Do you want to go on walkies to the park and get you a puppuccino? Do you want to go and get a puppuccino? You're excited. You're 21. 21. Mwah. Love you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come and get her. Come and get it. Come and get it. Come and get it. Over here. Over here. Go. Oh, you're like a horse. Cut to bring it here. He's trying to get his birthday hat off. You're trying to get your birthday hat off. Come here, I'll take it off. Cut to come here and I'll take it off for you. You have to wear it on your butt. <laughs> look what you've done now. <laughs> you look like a unicorn now. Cut are you a unicorn? Come here. <laughs> are you are a clever dog, aren't you? <laughs>
Upstairs into our chat and then we'll go and see Nanny. And she'll give you lots of treats for your birthday. Yeah, she'll we go and have a quick chat to camera about our journey. And then we'll get in the car and go see Nanny. Woo! Come on then. Did you just trump? Did you just do it again? Oh my god! Did you just... I mean, he did go to the bathroom when he was out, but you pooped up. You're drooling everywhere. You're tired already. You can sleep in the car on the way to Nanny's. I mean, come on, guys. Look, if you were walking around in a fur coat in summer, I get why a little walk does this to him. We did go out super early, obviously, because I normally go out in the morning or in the evening because it's just too hot in the middle of the day, but it still just kills him off, so he can sleep in the car in the back in the shade. But I wanted to jump on quick just to, just to really talk about like my journey with having him. It's been an incredible journey. It's not only kind of like our bond or like what I do for him, it's what he did for me. I remember when I got him, I'd been single for like 14 years. I found it really hard to let someone in. I kind of closed my heart off because of past trauma and experiences in old relationships that I had. I mean, there is videos on my YouTube you can go and watch if you want to watch all that, but we're past all that now. And I kind of wanted to get a dog to, to open up my heart to, to someone, something else. And he really has done that. I met my partner six months after I got him. I really feel like he's really helped me grow up, learn to be responsible for something else like you can't just go out and leave the dog like you've got to feed them water and it's not like having a tamagotchi it's a real life dog and i remember the day i mean this is talking about like the, the pro progress we've had the day i went to get him obviously i've never had a dog on my own before and i got him from a breeders in bristol which is about three hours away and i'll link the breeders down in the description box below by the way because i know a lot of people have asked before where i got him from and we drove three hours before I actually could pick him up because I went to pick from the litter that they had. And I remember I picked him because we drove there. There was like a group of different dogs. There's black ones, red ones, and then his colour, which was quite rare, the beige. And I just shouted, come to me. And the only one who came to me, I went with my friend, was him. So I was like, that is the dog I'm getting. I did fall in love with all of them. I could have brought them all home, but Carter came home with me. So then I drove back home and then four weeks later when we went to pick him up, I went to get him. Obviously it was summer and the three hour drive, we got him en route home and I was thinking, we got caught in traffic, had no water, no bowls, couldn't stop at a service station because we were stuck in traffic. He as a puppy was panting like this, I thought, oh my God, I've just got a dog and I'm literally going to kill the dog before I even get home. Thankfully, we made it back safe and sound and he made it back. but. I'm adding in little clips as I'm talking right now just of how cute he looked. Like the group of puppies when they ran over to me, I just fell in love instantly. They were like, shush, shush you. They were like little baby otters. And I think, I love him like this. And do you know what? He's actually really small for a chow chow because any chow chow I've seen are quite big. And when you look on the internet, I mean, some of them look like bloody bears. But I... I feel like as a puppy, he was so cute. I was living in a flat at the time and I remember just looking at him and he was literally like a baby teddy bear, like a small teddy bear, not a baby teddy bear. And I was just like, I just fell in love. And I guess that kind of opened up my heart and stuff. But I just wanted to come on and just gush about, um, if you ever consider him getting a dog, they always say a, a, a dog is a man's best friend. But honestly, like they do more than just like be in the house, they, they really do teach you to grow up, to be responsible, to think about something else. 
and I do want to have kids in the future and I really think this was like a stepping stone for me and yeah they just they teach you to, to love something and they're great companions he's always just there like when my partner comes home from work he jumps straight to the door to like welcome him so yeah guys I forgot that we are going to Leicester and I have a Father's Day dinner to get to, like an early dinner. I haven't even packed. So, Carter, should we pack up our stuff and go and see Nanny? Should we go and see Nanny? Should we go and see Nanny and Grandad? Shall we? So yes, I'm going to pack up my stuff, get on a road trip in this 27 degrees heat. I'm going to be sweating in the car. Well, we've got aircon, but, um, but yeah, off to Leicester we go. We made it, it has been one hell of a long day, but we are here, the sun is shining. Mum and dad are excited to see Carter, Father's Day, see my dad, and obviously also Carter's birthday, a day to celebrate. Now I've brought some little gifts back for, for my dad, for Father's Day, but they don't know what it is yet, they're here. But I had to bring my mum back something as well because when mum used to come to my house, it was like supermarket sweep. She used to just go around filling up a bag of candles and scents and fragrances so I can never leave her out, even though it's Father's Day. Still have to bring something for her. So mother, this is for you first, even though it's not Father's Day, but uh, even though it's not Mother's Day, Ooh. but mother always gets something. Now got Burberry, Burberry, what is this? And then, oh, what nearly tripped. And then dad, so We've got some Burberry yeah. sunglasses. And then Dad's. Thank you very much, thank you. What do you think? It actually goes, did you wear, did you wear the green? Cause... What, who fucking even know I'm getting them? <laughs> I'm like, she's matched it. <laughs> Not on per. She was like, I knew I was going to get something. She, she manifested that she was getting green glasses, so she wore green. He's having a birthday <gasps> itch. Look at this. What have I got here? I don't know how you open it. I think that ribbon, you have to take the ribbon off. Yeah. The purple ribbon on the top. Oh yeah, so I open it up then. What's Grandad got? Yeah, very nice, thank you. Good. What have I got? Hello, hello. Nice little Burberry cloth. Oh, that's a Burberry bag. I haven't obviously opened it, but... What is it? It's obviously a note to me. Ooh. Ooh, That's favourite. It's not my favourite. Hey. I'm short of it as well. Oh, look at that. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carter. Happy birthday to you. Blow it up. It's your birthday. Yay! Sweet today, Carter, sweet today. It's your cake. Yes. Right, guys, I'm going to close this vlog off now because we're heading out for a Father's Day snorty for a Father's Day lunch. But yeah, I think class has had a good day. We're probably just going to sleep now. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or anything, comment down below. Hope you've also all had a lovely Father's Day. And I will see you. Actually, I won't see you next week because I head away on holiday. Hence why he's staying here. But I am going to hopefully be vlogging my holiday. So it will be coming to you in two weeks from today. So I will see you hopefully with a nice tan, some strawberry daiquiris, some partying 
in the sun in a couple of weeks. Take care.